So let's do that. Wow, that is good video. Guys, you will not believe what I paid for this. You will not believe for one minute what I paid for this little, this little bird. This thing literally kicks ass. All right, Dad Random back. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick hover test. Uh, it is a little bit windy, so one of the one of the things uh, I told you about when you are flying these little tiny budget quads like this little Potenzik, okay, Potenzik, yeah, I got very 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 uh, uh, curious when I saw the Potenzik video quality. Now today you're not going to get video quality, but one thing I can do today with the what I call the mini. Uh, the mini knockoff, this is definitely a mini one knockoff, um, is we're going to get some flight uh, in the wind st uh, stability st test. Now, toy quads are notorious for not holding GPS. And my, my curiosity is now at its height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little, little puppy to the test. I am impressed with the video quality I've seen, like in perfectly calm days. And uh, I was like, wow. That is really good 4K video. So we are going to uh, take the Potenzik out just in front of you here and we're gonna hover it and uh, just do a quick hover test. Um, the batteries look great. Um, one of the things I'm gonna tell you right away is the fit and finish on this thing, rock. This thing fits like, it, it's like it's like you're basically loading up a, a freaking a Beretta or something, okay? Like, a, like, a, like a, you're throwing a freaking clip into, into a rifle. Um, uh, it's, um, if, if you, if you look at how the battery is fit and finish, it is, it is really pretty good. I mean, look at that. Uh, everything is in its place. You've got the uh, SD card in the back. It's 4k. Uh, it's electronic stabilized. There is absolutely no gimbal. Uh, it is completely shock mounted. So this thing should be crap, but not from what I've seen. Uh, so this has actually had some, some software updates. I updated the software. I've got everything uh, pretty much working. I've actually hovered it inside and I'm very impressed with its indoor hover. Uh, it can hover indoors because it does have the Opti sensors. And there you go. So let's see what this little uh, Potenzik Atom has got for it. This thing has got a bunch of things going for it. One is price. Another thing is We'll see, hopefully flight stability. If this thing can just go out and fly nicely for me, I really don't care about the video at this point because I understand how EIS works. But my biggest problem with toy quad companies uh, is that most of their, their products are really not good in a lot of areas. And probably the most important area, just flying. So this thing, what I've seen from other reviewers got me very, very, very interested. So that's, let's do it, let's fly it. Let's go ahead and fly the Potenzik Atom. Let's get a first flight uh, um, experience and then uh, see where we're gonna go. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of setup because I have not done a calibration. It says once you've calibrated it, you pretty much can leave it alone. Guys, that's a first. <laughs> so let's do it. I'm gonna calibrate. Right. Another and thing right. I like about the Potenzik Atom right away is the controller. I love this controller. It fits really large phones uh, and the app so far, which is the Potenzik Atom app. Okay, you click on SE, okay, and it's ready to go. It walks you through some steps, gets you set up. So let's go ahead and power up. This thing has a, uh, a 30, a 30 minute battery. And this sounds just like a DJI drone when it turns on. So uh, a lot of similarities there. So let's go ahead, and give you a little bit of view of that right there. And I'm not gonna record anything on the screen yet. I'm just gonna fly it. Today, all I care about is, does it hover? And is the GPS stability what I consider to be up to par with a drone that's much like this one? So let's check it out, all right. So let's go ahead and we will uh, start my controller up. There we go. 
Um, very nice laid out. Uh, now this one also has an, an OTG cable. The other thing you need to do is it tells you to when you when you start this up and you fly it that you should put it in airplane mode. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to put it in airplane mode. I think that's a mistake a lot of people are making with the iPhones. I'm flying with an iPhone. Um, a lot of people that uh, other um, other flyers um, that uh, that use this quad um, talked about problems with the iPhone specifically, and when they switched over to their uh, to their their Android device, it was better. But let's go ahead. Okay, it's a it's a blustery day. It's windy. Let's enter the device. Um, and I mean, I'll, let me let me go ahead and record my experience here. Now, okay, I'm just going to do a compass calibration. So here it is. I'm not going to record my screen. So start calibration right there. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up, and I'm going to bring it away from my car, and I'm going to spin it. So we're doing this, and then we're going to do this. Until it tells me to stop. Uh, got a green light. Wow, that's good video. There's a green light right there. And I'm gonna, we're going to launch right from my truck so you can see it launch. Wow, very, 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 uh, very good video so far. Uh, this does have a gimbal that can move up and down smoothly. It's not incremental. So I can see the contrast right now in the video is, is really pretty good. All I care about though, does it hover? And does it hold its hover in the wind? So here we go, let's, let's fly it. Now you can go, uh, you can bring it down and in to launch, nice and quiet. Okay, you, you see that? Okay, very nice. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and get it going again. Yeah, it's going to, so it says, hey, I don't like that. Let's see if I got a card in there. Yeah, it recognizes my card and everything. All right, let's see if we can spin it up again. There we go. All right, okay. It's having a little trouble right now in the wind, right? Okay, it, it's, it's looking for GPS. Now, now here, let me go get the, let's go get, uh, get the camera going. And so it's holding in the wind right now. This is, uh, it's got a headwind. So that's what it looks like uh, in about a three or four mile an hour headwind. When I did a, a, toy, a toy review not too long ago with another, uh, another toy drone, it could not do this. I knew when I saw this thing flying that it was gonna be able to pass this test. So, so the Potenzik Atom SE, pretty damn good. I've been looking for a toy drone that passes what I would consider to be a, uh, a, a basic just flight test so a kid can fly it and not like crash it on day one. So this thing's in a pretty good wind and it's not recommended to fly in say winds more than six to seven miles an hour. Um, what they call it, like class four, class three. All right, so let's fly it around a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put, the, uh, put my camera down here, set it up. Move it a little closer to, to so you can see me flying. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna move I'm gonna move the camera out here so I can get out in the open where it's really windy. So here it is. We are in the wind, and I'm, I'm gonna bring the Potenzik over here. There it is, right there. And once again, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna back it in towards us. And and guys, this does not surprise me whatsoever. I'm going to record some video. What the hell? That's a photograph. Um, there, there we go. I might as well. I've got a card in there. Let's record some video. Now, um, it, this is not fair. I told you it's windy today. So let's, but let's see how let's see how it performs with uh, with a, with moderate wind. It's 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 stormy. So. <laughs> But it is powerful, and it's a 2S battery. It's a 2S Lion, Lion pack, and uh, this unit came with three of them. It says my return height is 98 feet. So far, the so far the software is 
is doing a good job. So let's not uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves, but it's recording 4K 30 video. Let's go ahead and raise the gimbal up a little bit. And uh, this is supposed to be uh, supposed to be sending me uh, 720p um, transmission video. You can see the flag out there. That gives you an idea as to what it's facing. So let's get it up and to the wind and you can see it's fighting the wind right there i'm just gonna i'm just holding it i'm just holding it and i'm just leaving it and of course it's going to have the horizon tilt because it doesn't have the ability to correct for it other than electronic image okay so let's go ahead and turn it back to where i'm at and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go around the back of the school and do a little bit of a a test as to whether the uh, control function can operate around uh, a lot of 5G interference because there's some serious 5G interference around here. I just want to see what hap what's going to happen to the video breakup. Um, so you're going to see so what I, um, you're going to see quite a bit of shaky video. Not too bad though. Um, it's managing around the school. I don't have too much breakup. Okay. So it's on the it's on the other side of the school, right there. Okay, don't do that. Okay, it's out of line of sight, so we got to bring it back. Okay, so let's do that. Wow, that is good video, guys. You will not believe what I paid for this. You will not believe for one minute what I paid for this little this little bird. This thing literally kicks ass. I have been waiting for this bird to come along. It should be for so long, basically an inexpensive mini. Let's fly by us here. An inexpensive mini that actually flies well. And this thing is kicking literal ass over everything I've ever flew in the toy market so far. I don't know, I don't know why anybody wouldn't, uh, wouldn't review this thing and say, this is one of the best products that they've reviewed in a, quite a while. And I, 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 am, I, am, I am tickled at how well this thing is flying. I, I kid you not. And this is in, its, uh, in, a, in a lower mode. This is in its mode one, I believe, or its, its uh, normal mode. And there is its braking. You see that? You see that thing break? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it back. And you can see it's, it's having trouble because uh, it's, it's got a barometer in it. Okay, you see that? It's it's fighting, it's fighting that, but it's got optical. So let's bring it into us and let's break. That's not bad. It's not floating all over the place. And I can fly the living crap out of this thing. I am really, really excited about this. You're not gonna believe what I paid for it. These things are so underappreciated. I mean, for what I'm seeing here, I'm going to, I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to take a pic, couple of pictures into that storm out there. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a rainstorm coming. Okay, I'm going to switch this over, and I'm going to turn this into. I'm going to, I'm going to take some images. Okay. Okay, that's a, that's an image. Okay, I've got to go and let it stabilize. I'm going to take some pictures, and then get them framed up for us. It does have software, uh, basic software to adjust, and I'll get into some of that other stuff in my other review. I I knew this wasn't going to be my only review. Okay, take some video there. If you're into the wind, if you're like straight into the wind, it does a really good job at at uh, stabilizing your your image. So I'm going to switch it over, and then I'm going to take some photographs. So there's a photograph going that way. And I'm gonna just ro roll it a little bit, get some of those, get some of those dynamics in the cloud. You can see I, I now have a, I have a, 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 a little bit of a, of a tilt. And there's nothing you can do about the tilt except for fly into the wind and just make sure your images go that way. So I could get that tilt free. I'd have to fly from that direction into the wind. So that's the key to, um, look at that. Let's go up, uh, let's go up 100 feet, okay, and see if it's drifting if the wind is going to push it somewhere. Okay, it's getting, it's holding up there. It is freaking holding. 
And it is fighting probably a seven, maybe seven, maybe maybe more, maybe seven to ten. So bring it down. I always like to. I always like to when I'm bringing a quad down to fly as I'm moving uh, in a lower altitude, so it doesn't get in its prop wash. I just got done flying FPV too, so it's kind of hard not to fly and move at the same time. But uh, very impressive. So. Here, let me go ahead and bring the gimbal up. I want to get some more of the dynamics of that sky out there. Let's go that way. Uh, right there. So that's the sky dynamic right there. And, yeah, see, it can't... It, since the gimbal is not designed to compensate for the movement, other than just uh, the, the image software. And I'm good with that. You just don't fly in the wind. You get a nice, calm morning or evening, and that's when you get your footage. Look at that. Look at the colors out there in that ball field. You got all the different greens and the different, uh, and I'm looking at it in 720. I'm not looking at it in, in uh, I'm not looking at it in, in you know, in uh, 4K, you know, what it's recording in. Guys, why, why are people not flying this thing? Oh my gosh. There's some light or some thunder. I'm out of here. Okay. Right. We got to take her in, man. We have got a thunderstorm out there. We are going to bring her in, land it. Okay. There it is. We don't, we do not want to get caught in the sucker. Whoa, man. That is a good one. Okay. So let's bring it in and land. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, we bring it out here so you can see it land. Actually, let's do a hand landing. There we go. Here we go, a little dad random hand landing for the Potenzik Atom SE. Guys, this thing passes all of my first tests. It is a stable flyer. It has good GPS hold, even at altitude. And it has got some features that are robust. And it has got a long range battery in it. It solves the problem of the controller. Guys, what the heck? This thing is way, way, way good. Is it as good as the SE? Um, for DJI, no, it does, this doesn't have a mechanical gimbal. But is this a great drone to start up on? It's probably one of the best at, at this point um, for what you can get this price point wise. There's a lot of different prices that you can get this thing for. So check it out. I, I would go, I would run and grab them right now before the price goes up. Because once my videos start coming out and this thing starts getting reviewed more, the price of this sucker is going to be 300 bucks. No pro, no question. Later, Dad Random. The Potenzik SE is a freaking winner so far. And this is only my first flight. Battery one. I've never flown it outside before until today. Very impressed, very impressed. Later, bye, Dad Random. Yeah, you haven't seen me smile in a long time. This, uh, this reminds me of when I flew the Mini 1 the first time. It's that good. Later, bye.